Today we're going to be testing and overviewing this smart switch for incandescent light OLED. We're going to be testing this with Alexa and Google Home. It will begin now. So let's give a look to information. This is good. Like I said before, 120 volts, uh, 500 watt incandescent light, 150 watt LED. So 150 watt LED, that's going to be a lot. Supports wireless 2.4 gigahertz. Very important now. Because you got to make sure you, you mod on this dual band. Now, every smart switch, every smart light bulb, even Google, Alexa, anything, all works with 2.4 gigahertz. Not this, only this. Everything works with 2.4. So make sure you mod on supports 2.4. All right, the next thing is you need to download the application called a smart light. Pretty simple. You can search that either in, in Apple Store and uh, Google Home. Or if not, you can scan this and download it. This is one application you can use, and this will map automatic uh, such for you go home or to learn on the Alexa. So we look at the switch. Here we can switch uh, in condensate or LED. I guess you will switch that once because you're not going to be changing light bulbs. Uh, let me see some of the wires. This is the low wire. This is the and this is the ground wire and. We got the line and the neutral. Now, make sure you look your box before you're going to buy one of these things. Make sure you got three wires. You need to have neutral. Why? Because this box by itself requires power. It will not work with this too. Because why? You have the switch. You got power coming in. That will be your line. So you have to change it with a tester or something. Make sure that's the line coming in. And then the output is once it goes to the light bulb. And then it closes right into your neutral. All right, so this is between the metal. So you're going to do that. You're going to put your ground wire, either if a metal box, you put in the metal box, or if you got oh, the ground wire, normally you have the ground wire hooked up there. And this, this is your neutral. So in a regular switch, you don't require neutral because it's a regular switch. It doesn't require any power. But with this, it does require that. So make sure you look your box. Make sure you have a neutral right over here. And that's actually what I was saying. You got your natural wire. Let's see, you connect your wire, your, your line in the ground. I'll give you another way here. All right. And to show you different ways you can connect it. All right, so let's test it. Now, I created a little jig here to simulate that it's in a, in a wall switch, but it's easy to make a video this way. So we got a light, we got a leg, so I'm going to test this with Google as well. Now, when you plug in the first time, it blinks. It means it requires um, synchronization. But the switch by itself, if you press it right, you need to touch it. You don't need to press anything. It will work. Even if you want uh, the light uh, brighter, you just hold it here and becomes brighter. And if you want lower, it will become low. So let's go into, we see the letter H. We go H, that's the highest. So now the next thing we need to do is install, or if you have already a smart life installed there. Like I said before, remember that any of this type of application, it requires you to create an account. No matter across the board, whatever the smart switch light bulbs, any smart device, it requires a third party application to sync with Google Alexa, because Alexa by itself, or uh, what they call it, learning skills, or Google by itself will not do anything. It requires the third party application to create the link, it requires the link. So now we're going to uh, a plus there and we're going to be adding a, a, a wall switch. It's blinking rapidly. That's a password you create an account on, on the smart life. We confirm and we wait. It will change to a line and then the L when it's finally connected, it becomes a little L. It takes about 60 seconds. It really sees it goes black. That that's the first signal. When you see that, it's uh, everything is good. We see that. Make sure you are in 2.4 gigahertz, and make sure your phone is in 2.4 gigahertz. Make sure your phone is not in data or anything. It has to be in the local network. And if you got a 5 gigahertz, switch your phone to 2.5, 2.4. Turn off KS7011. So, done. We complete now. And technically, from here or from your phone, I can turn it off. Turn it on again. I see. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. That's this. Turn it on. I can 
control this and do you see uh, that's high we need to go low and as you see here changing the screen too so what we're going to do now let's control it with uh, alexa so let's say alexa oh let's take the mic okay alexa turn off ks 7011 Now, you will rename it. You're not going to call that. But so for me, just to make a video. So, Alexa, turn on KS7011. Alexa, turn on KS7011. Perfect. Now, because you already learned the skill. So now, in Google already recognizes it because I got both connected. So now I didn't, you see, I didn't touch anything on Google, but already knows it's a smart device because I already linked the smart life with the Google account. So, hey, Google, turn off KS7011, turn on KS7011. So as you see, I can turn it off, off, off and on with the, with the Google. And also, if we want, we can use Alexa to dim the lights or 50% or 20%. Or That's pretty simple. So if you follow the step, you should be, in no matter of uh, uh, no time, be able to configure and set up your smart devices. Now, with this, we complete the tutorial. So remember, if you see your little hand, Make sure you click a like if you see the camphor hand yes this video helped me to configure my uh, smart switch so click on it thank you